Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about a super useful automation which is going to streamline your workflow and improve your contact management. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create contacts in Google Contacts application automatically using webhooks. So by using webhooks inside our automation workflow, you can fetch the data of any contact from any external application and send it to Google Contacts automatically. And we can set up with this automation without any coding. So let's begin. To set up our workflow, we are using Pabli Connect, an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. You can find the link of the same page in the description as well. And from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. So sign up right now. And after that, sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard. From here, click on this create workflow button. Okay, and here you can give a suitable name. After that, click on create button and your workflow page will be ready. So I have given this name. Okay, now click on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. All right, and on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up the automation. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to kickstart this workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response towards the trigger. So in our use case, guys, we are using webhooks by Pabli feature. So when you use webhook here, it will provide you the webhook URL. Okay, so guys, this webhook URL is going to act as a medium of communication between our workflow and any external application. Okay, so we can use this URL, you can read, copy the webhook URL and add it under the webhook section of the application you are willing to integrate with. Once you are done adding the webhook URL, then do a test submission. Okay, so this means you have to add this URL inside any application that you want to integrate. And after that, you can get the data from that application. So here I'm using jot form. You can use any other application you want inside jot form application. You I'm using a form to get a contact uh, details from any person. Okay. So here we have this more option right here. Click on more and you have to open the form settings. So click on settings and guys under form settings page from the left hand side panel, you can see this integrations tab, click on integrations. And here guys, you will find uh, these integrations options from here, from the top search bar, you have to search for web hooks. Okay. Here you can see web hooks option. And when you open web hooks tab, you will find this add web hook field right here. Okay. So uh, you can erase this field and here you have to paste this URL that you got here. Okay. So just copy it and you can see as I copied it, it started waiting for the response. Now you have to paste it here in this field, then click on complete integration and you can see the integration is ready. Now you can click on finish. Okay. And now you can publish your form that you have created. Okay, this is the form I'm using for getting the contact details of any person. Here you can see it's still waiting for the response. This means now we can perform a test submission. Okay, test submission means now I am going to manually fill the form by myself, this form. Okay. And as I'm going to submit this form, the data will be transferred to the workflows response. Okay. And that will act as a test data to set up the for automation further. So let me just fill in the de details. So guys, I have filled the form here. The name I have given is test Pabli. Okay. Here is the email address, the number and the location. Okay. Now let me click on submit and you can see the form response has been received as written here. Let's check our, in our workflow directly if we receive the response and here we got the response captured and here guys, you can see we have received all the details I have filled in the form in these labels. Okay. Right now guys, with the help of this data, I want to create a contact in Google contacts application. So in this action window, search for Google contacts. Here it is. So this 
trigger is getting the data from any application and the action is an automated consequence to create a contact in Google contacts. Okay, so the action event would be create contact, click on connect button. From here, select add new connection, then click on sign in with Google. All right, from here, you have to choose that Google account in which you want to save the contacts. Okay, select the account. Then you have to provide some additional access to your account. Just click on continue. All right, and the authorization is successful and we are connected. And here it started asking for the email address, the name and all other things. So guys, I'm going to use this test data to map the details here in these fields to create the contact. So here guys in this email address value type field, just click here and the previous step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find the data right here like this. Okay. So from here, map the email label in this value type email address. Okay. Then here it is asking for the display name. So you can map the display name as this. Then it is asking for the family name. You can map the family name if you want, which is the same. So I'm mapping just the first name. Then it will ask for the address. So if you have the address values, you can map the address here. I'm mapping the location here in the city label. Okay. And when you scroll down, you will find the birth dates, birth month and all the things, gender. So here it is asking to select the gender option, but we haven't asked for the gender. So if you want to leave the gender field blank, you have to toggle this map button to on and then erase this field. Okay, so it will remain blank. Okay, here we have phone number option as well. We have received the phone number. So let me map the phone number. Then you can if you have all the data, you can map all the data right now. I just mapped the required things, the bare minimum things to create a contact. And now let's check our connection with Google contacts. You can see guys, this is my Google contact application. And here we have three contacts right now by clicking on save and send test request button, you can create a test contact here to check your connection. So I'm clicking on save and send test request button. All right, so this is the response we got. Let's see in our Google contacts application. I'm refreshing this section. And here you can see guys, we got a new contact added with this name test. Okay. And here you can see the email address, the phone number and the location all is here. Right. So this is how it is going to work guys. So our connection is working fine and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it will work automatically. Whenever you are going to receive a form submission, the that is going to trigger the workflow and the data will be sent to Google contacts. And I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow if you want or you can attach any other application in the trigger with the help of webhook feature by Pavli and get the data. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.